Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I make my favorite weekend recipe, which is bread. Once you make this one, you will never ever buy bread again. It's simple to make, delicious. It tastes like this rustic bread you would, that you get from your favorite bakery, if you ever do. Fraction of the price, and I think it's way more delicious. So what you can expect from this video here. I wanted to share with you exactly step-by-step -step process, which is extremely simple, requires minimal work on your part. The only thing is the time management. You wanna make sure that you don't wait all day for the, for the bread to rise. So I show you exactly how it works. And as a bonus to this uh, video, I'm gonna show you how exactly I measure uh, the bread, how I calculate the calories. That way, if you are like me, so set on calorie counting every day, it's gonna be so easy to include that bread and not feel guilty at all. This is one day earlier, it's about 5 p.m. now. I'm going to start with measuring flour. If you do not weigh flour, make sure you fluff it up before measuring it. A flour weight it can vary tremendously when it's packed versus fluffed. I have here three cups, uh, about 400 grams of all-purpose flour. You can also use bread flour. And add just a quarter of a teaspoon of dry active yeast. and one teaspoon of sea salt. Make sure it's sea salt. If you're using table salt, reduce it. Probably use a quarter. Stir the dry ingredients together and add one cup and five eighths of water. I like to weigh water as well because it is more precise. This is about 300 grams of water. Mix it until all ingredients bind. And next you're gonna cover it. And this is it for today. Go about your day. It's time to prepare the dough for the second rice. It is 7.05 in the morning. I'm getting ready to go for my morning walk Saturday weekend and it usually takes me about an hour and an hour an hour and a half to come back and that's a perfect time for the second rice for the dough so let's go ahead and I'll show you exactly how to prepare the dough for the second rice everyone is still asleep so I'm trying to be quiet here well I will get my tools first. Uh, cutting board, dough scraper, spatula, and a large piece of parchment paper. I learned that when I let the dough rise for the second time in a bowl already lined with parchment paper, it is much easier to dump it, um, the, to dump the dough into a hot pot. Instead of trying to line a hot pot with that paper, that's a very useful tip. I also do not have to scrape the dough off the bowl again. That's much easier. Sprinkle some flour on the cutting board, making sure it is spread evenly. This is how the dough uh, pretty much looks like the next morning after 12 or 16 hours of rising. Remove the dough from the bowl onto the floured surface and fold it over and over again, trying to form a ball. The dough is very sticky, so do not press it hard. Just touch it slightly and move it around. If you need to, continue sprinkling the flour onto the surface to prevent sticking. Once the bowl is formed, line the bowl with a prepared parchment paper and put it back into the same bowl. 
No cleaning needed. Cover it and leave it for a second rise. And I'm going on my morning walk. This is by far the best way not to wait for the dough to rise. And I'm back. First thing I do right away is preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit with the Dutch uh, pot, the Dutch oven pot already in, so it can preheat as well for the breads to be perfectly crunchy. And that usually takes about 15 minutes. So another perfect way not to wait is to make my morning coffee. If coffee is not your thing, get your favorite drink and relax while the oven is pre being preheated. Once the oven is preheated, remove the pot and place the dough with the parchment paper in it. Look how beautiful it looks after second rise and look how easy it is to transfer the whole dough into the pot, the hot, very, very hot pot. You already have the parchment paper in it. You don't have to line it. Now cover it up and put it back into the oven. Set uh, the timer for 15 minutes. And hey, go ahead and enjoy your drink if you are a slow drinker and still have it. After the first 15 minutes, remove the lid. And bake it for another 25 minutes. And this is the end result. Perfectly baked bread, crunchy outside and soft on the inside. I like to cut it hot, but it is much easier to cut it when you let it cool a bit. I just love a hot bread. Now, how do I know how many calories I have here? And I'm going to get very analytical on you right now. So the first step, I weigh the whole whole loaf. So I have about 22 ounces and I know I used 400 grams of flour plus some to sprinkle the surface with. We don't have to be exact. Now let's get the calculator out. 400 grams divided by 30, uh, 30 grams, the serving size of flour, times 110 calories in that serving. That's 1466.66 calories per of the whole loaf. Divided by 22 ounces, I get 66.66 calories per ounce. Now I just need to weigh my slices and I usually eat about seven, maybe sometimes eight uh, ounces of bread. Yes, one third of the loaf. And that's with stopping myself from eating more. Here is how I would weigh my bread. So I'm gonna cut how many pieces I want. And sometimes just a couple of it at a time, that is. Can you hear the crunch? You can spread it with butter, eat it with an egg, spread it with avocado, have a tomato on it. I mean, anything you like, it's so delicious. So one thing, when I have uh, any bread left over, I freeze it the day I made it. 
so it gets frozen in the freshest possible form. I deep freeze it when I want to use it and either bake the whole thing or just cut it in slices and toast it. Here's an example of what I do with the leftover bread. So um, I made some cheese and steak toast. I had a steak left over from dinner the day before. And into an, fry, uh, an air fryer or oven set on broil. And another great meal is ready. I went for some avocado tomato salsa and we had an amazing meal. What would you do with your leftover bread? Make sure you leave a comment below. Watch these two videos next and I guess I will see you on the next one.